Greetings family, Bomani Time by here and we're live on Revolutionary Cam. Family, it's July 2nd and I've been back from Ghana about four weeks now and it's been incredible. I'm here with my good brother Kofi Bruce. What's up? Yes family, and I got my number 10, <laughs> Brazil on Neymar Jr. Yeah. Good job, good job my brother. Now, busting a shot up in the Mexican Ross. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Right there, you know, 2-0. But um, anyway, family, we just uh, enjoying World Cup fever. It's been a uh, you know blast. I'm watching uh, Japan destroy the Belgians. You know me. I'm all for the underdogs and all for the teams of all black folks, with more black folks than anything else. And uh, you know what I'm saying. So it's a uh, you know friendly competition. So I'm rocking my Brazil jersey, enjoying the vibes. My yeah. brother here is wearing an outdated new jersey. <laughs> it's someone that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, it's which is like the Brooklyn Nets now. No, New Jersey always exists. Yo, don't get that twisted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so brother man, what's up man? How you feeling? Is I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What's been going on since I left uh oh, and I left for the motherland? I don't know. Yeah. Just you know, just trying to track you while you was there. Oh, where's Bomani in Ghana? Yeah. Absolutely no, I usually save all the videos for last anyway and, and you know, show a few photos and so on. But for the most part, you know, we keep you waiting and when we get back we upload the documentation. So yes family, got lots of pictures on Facebook, lots of videos on YouTube, you know, right there on our channel family and all the, the information is in our description box and comments. Definitely check them out. But uh, it's been amazing. Uh, you know, I heard Donald Trump is uh, ready for re-election. Oh. You know, and all kind of things like that going on in America. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I've been in the tropics with family. It's just so beautiful in Ghana. and. We're definitely still working on our 2020 plan to repatriate, mm -hmm. and without a doubt, and I'm just uh, really just enjoying this wonderful energy as Japan just busts another shot in Belgium. <laughs> now as you're watching the World Cup fever here, oh, wow. it's unbelievable. But like I said, family, it's the age of the underdogs, and you know what I'm saying. You see the flag back there, yeah, red, black, green, and gold. Red, black, green. You know, it's 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 the age of that energy coming up. So. We're doing Ghana doing a lot of wonderful things. We just linked with our brother Kojo Asajifo right there in Sinia Baraku, which is one hour away from Kaswa, one hour away from Winneba, two hours away from Accra, and two hours away from Cape Coast Elmina. And it's right there, beach access, right there on the coast. Now, you know, we always take people to different lands. So it's like, you know, when mm -hmm. I first linked with you, we were going up in the Fianca in the Eastern region. Right. You know? But that's what our, to our tour bus do. We take you around the country and we connect with our people and show you different land sites. That way you can process many different things. And uh, what, um, the, the last site you just mentioned that you went to this year, this past year? Oh yes, I saw uh, Sina Baraku. Oh That's yeah, a, I, I watched the video. Looks, looks, looks marvelous. <laughs> I can't wait to actually get there to see it for myself with my own eyes. You so. saw green of this? Oh yeah, it looks great. Y'all need to come and see it for yourself too. Africa for the Africans Investment Tours. Yeah, family, yeah. we take you around that journey. And as a matter of fact, uh, the last Ghana tour in May uh, 2018 was so fabulous and incredible to where uh, we had an open slot to do a November 16 to the 26th tour based on the Ethiopia tour just not working out. And unfortunately, um, you know, we was actually getting more interest in, in Tanzania than Ethiopia, which is the, the foundation of the tour. But nevertheless, family, that's our tour right there in Ghana coming up. So, you know, that's what we do. This would be the 15th tour to Ghana. And well, we're here to just give you a connection of three different regions, three days in Accra, three days in Kumasi, mm -hmm. and three days in Cape Coast, Elmina. Right. And you, you know something about all that because you've been to all three of those all places twice. wonderful, all marvelous, yeah. So um, I'm not even going to say if you get a chance to come, I'm going to tell you to make a chance to come on this tour, enjoy a journey of a lifetime because it, it really is, you know, just, you just kind of... Uh, before you come, you know, if you don't know anything about Africa, you have to do your research, you know, so you can't come to Africa with the, an American mentality. So that, that'll make the journey just a little bit difficult for you. So you have to somehow um, throw away everything that America taught you about Africa and just come with an open mind. Exactly. And uh, as I was talking with you based on some uh, comments I made on Facebook, you know, we really don't need like disruptive people with leaders attitude. And we need people to focus on a program that we're all here and join a journey for a lifetime. So we all have to share a certain journey. Right. And you know, I understand there's a, a lot of different kind of tours in the world, but our tour deal with roots, culture, repatriation, business, investment, a whole lot of things, but it also deal with 
us coming together, sharing our journey, none of us should feel like we're better than others to where we feel like we need five star upgrades and stuff like that. And if you feel like you need that, the ideal and respectful thing to do is to, you know, is to either ask or request for that up front or find a journey that provides that, you know. And I want people to really just start focusing on the prize. Right. You know? Because uh, when, you, when you come on a group tour, you have to just keep in mind that it's a group tour. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can't get everything catered to your way specifically because you have other people on the tour with you also. So, um, you know, you, you can't come to Africa with this uh, just take care of me selfish attitude. You know, at least not your first time, because like I said, you need to come with an open mind. And that's even with, you know, be aware of the, the other tour members and, and the rules of the tour and everything, you know, and then everything will be fine. So. Absolutely, brother. I appreciate the energy because you've traveled with me in the, in the past mm -hmm. uh, in uh, two different journeys and it's been a wonderful, uh, All right. I want to say 2014 and 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, uh, 2012 and uh, 2012. 2014. Yeah, 2014. And uh, 2016, we were hoping that you were able to make it, but yeah. of course you weren't able to make uh, it. But I always appreciate your energy. And, mm -hmm. and from oh, your... I'll be back. <laughs> exactly. From your experience, you see how we do business and uh, at no point, uh, you, know, you know, you saw us uh, treating anyone unfair and... You know, you did get left one time when we were going out for dinner, <laughs> and uh, you know, and I appreciate you just overstanding that. Uh, you know, we are all on board, and you were nowhere to be found, and you know, and this based on schedule, we're gone. So right, and you, you took know. it with great respect and everything. Yeah, but you know, to, to, to be <laughs> honest, you know, when I came out and I seen the, the bus pulling off, I felt some kind of way. You know, <laughs> I can't believe they're leaving me. <laughs> You know, you know how that feel. I'm, I'm in Africa, and all my people is just—I just see the red lights just moving, leaving. I was like, "What?" The good thing about you is at the hotel, and I'm yeah, thinking, you know, I was at the hotel, but then I thought about it. You know, you said the bus was leaving at such and such time. Even though I was looking out the window, you know, I got distracted with my time, and by the time I got there, you know, it left at the time that you said, and I was late. So, you know, I felt some kind of way, like personally, but. Not personally, because I'm the one that was late, so exactly. I just took it in stride. You know, it's just, you know, I've been on other tours before, and I know that you have to follow the rules of the tour. If, if you want to just go off willy-nilly on your own, then you should just go over there on your own. But when you're with a group and on a tour, you have to follow the rules that are provided, as long as those rules are keeping you safe. <laughs> Exactly, so, especially yeah. doing schedule events now. Right. And what we do is a lot of schedule events. If you want to stay and chill at the hotel, you stay and chill at the hotel. But uh, it, it's, it, it was funny though, you know, we just had this one lady that decided that, uh, you know, when I, when I explained to her that, you know, we stay, we're about to leave. And uh, she decided she wanted to run off the bus and go to the mall. And I told her if she get off the bus, uh, we're going to leave mm -hmm. and everything. And, and I don't know if she thought I was joking, man, but, you know, it's like I tell people it's a serious business, you know. If you know we got intel that you know so, you know that uh, we we're about to get robbed or something like that, you know we had to keep moving. I mean the schedule is definitely for your safety, um, and you can't just run off a bus because once you run off a bus, you can get hit by a car because now you're thinking let me just run off and go try to go grab something. So we're using many things. Uh, when I do these tours, I usually use uh, make examples and try to explain to people that you know there's certain situations that you know, you know where that happen that you know you end up still being alive and stuff like that, but. Uh, the reality of, you know, and it's based on my travel experience from just traveling, uh, when I, you know, during the time when I was in the Navy uh, from 18 and during the time when I was also working for the airlines. And all of the, you know, the travel experience that we have, we're here to make sure people are safe and right. people don't jeopardize their lives. And everything we tell people is for a reason, you know, because when we're moving as a group, we also have to think about time, you know, people like to shop. Right. So we also want to make sure people have enough time to shop and all these wonderful things. So, you know, the incredible, the craziest thing about it, this is the first person that this person didn't even get left you got left this mm -hmm. person almost got left so we did stop the bus for her because I did tell the, the tour guide to get back on the bus once I finally found him and I told him that because of you we have people running off the bus and thinking that they can just go do what they want to do oh, you know? okay. and you know it's one of the things that you know where you know when you run the operation you need a tour guide and everyone to be in the floor right. what are you doing because the goal is to make sure that everybody have enough time to do what they want to do they have a great time and you know we always count the fact of the safety and the security uh, fact of it because no matter where you go in the world you know when you have a group of tourists or a group of people on a bus and it's called tourism so I'm just using those terminologies mm -hmm. uh, you know but we're not saying that we're tourists we're, we're 
returning to the land of our ancestors. Right. But uh, we're perceived and moving around a tourism motion. You know, you have to really be careful of many things because not everybody see you as people that they just want to see in the country and just enjoying themselves in the country and maybe they don't have life as good as they think you they see you have it. So you're always going to have haters everywhere. Right. And you know, I'm a person that believes we have to protect our customers and our clientele from the haters and anything. So, you know, again, family uh, rules and anything that you hear us talking about on any of our videos and any incident, it's basically to put the energy out there that um, you know we want people to follow the rules and follow things as if they were on a white cruise ship with uh, white <laughs> people running it, you know, because uh, you know they play on, they, you know they don't play on them cruise ships. Uh, right. you, you go off somewhere in Cuba and you're on the, the cruise ship and you're supposed to go to Bahamas in, in, in about uh, in about five minutes and you're still out there playing around shopping. They they you know they, as a matter of fact we they don't want to come look for you. They they gone yeah. on you. Yeah. yeah, you know. But the worst thing about this one woman, brother. You know, I go check to see if she's alright, and she started to drum with me, you know, up in my face, yelling and screaming at me, calling out my name and everything, and, you know, you know, I, I don't go for that, but one thing about me, you know, I'm a warrior, I'm not going to fight a woman, so, you know, I work with our chain of command, so I put my sister, my elder, SAS on it, uh, to deal with the job, which, you know, in this case, you know, you an elder, you tell that lady, she's being disrespectful, she needs to apologize to you in front of the entire group, because that's unsatisfactory. Instead of that woman doing that, you know, she did this. She joined a feminist club. Like you know, you know. I mean, like we don't. I don't. You know, it's like when we on a trip, we're not trying to leave any woman. We're not trying to disrespect any woman. But we, you know. But it's like the rules are for everyone. So you know. So if, you know, it's like so we don't need no man hating feminists just saying that. But man, I'm not gonna respect your rules. I'm gonna walk off the bus and do what I want to do. And even though you told me you're gonna leave me, I dare you to do it. Cause if you do, I'm gonna get in your face and disrespect oh, wow. you. That's basically what this person is telling oh, me. Oh wow! And then when my you know female. Elder and crew members don't, you know what I'm saying, don't hold the fort down and push, you know, these things, then, you know, a brother got to get rid of them. So, mm -hmm. family got rid of all the cool folks because of that and many other reasons, you know what I mean? When we roll over these journeys, we got to have a united front and we got to operate in order. And order is important because if we can't respect the order of what we're doing, how are we going to build anything, you know what I mean? All right, so tell everybody what's the next move, you know, what's, that was that was the past. With all oh, what's the next move? So... You know, what's the next move is the same move we always do. We do conference calls, we go through details, we have preparation information, and we're pushing out district signaling signals and, and information to let people know if you're going to come on the tour with us, follow the directions, follow the energy, mm -hmm. so we can make sure that you have the greatest time. So that's it. So family, it's a circle of circle of going through this over and over, and that's what we do because at the end of the day, uh, you know, we want to make sure people that don't use excuses like, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. So I got recordings saying to people that we're going to leave people that people don't want to follow the schedule and things like that. So it's like, that's one of why I record everything and go through everything. Right. right. You know, so this business run as efficient or even more efficient than any white travel business that you know. We answer all calls, emails, texts, everything. And we go through all details consistently and we're available seven days a week, family. Six o'clock in the morning to 12 midnight. I'm here at Bomani Technology working for you and getting everybody set up to get tickets, get organized, and so on. So family, you know what I mean? You've been through the journeys before, man. Yeah, so you've seen here at Bomani Technology, the, all of the logistics and stuff we literally do. And this is just further into it. And we just get advanced and advanced. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to close this out, I just want to tell everybody, you know, AfricaForTheAfricans.org. Absolutely, family. That's the web page. That's it, family. Just website. Come to the Africa website. You will see videos. You will hear music. You will see literature. You can learn all about your uh, your journey of a lifetime to Africa. So just uh, tune in. Go to that web page, Instagram, Facebook. Check out AfricaForTheAfricans.com and. Uh, Okay. That org family. Yeah, that org. org. Sorry about that. <laughs> for organized operation. Yeah. Africa for the Africans. Not org. So mm -hmm. family, appreciate your energy and everything, and we see you on this upcoming journey of a lifetime here in Ghana, November 16 to the 26, 2019, and May 22 to June 4th, 2019. So yes, family, you're going to Ghana again in five months, and then going back to Ghana from in 11 months right. so family you know we've been going back and forth to Africa at least every six months for the last few years so we see you in the motherland see you in the motherland Awoo. <laughs>